back at Lebanon High School, set to start the second half of the TWSAA playoff game. Tony Eckler is set to kick off for Lebanon. Back deep for Tullahoma is Maurice Shaw back at his own five-yard line. Tullahoma on top of the Blue Devils, 13 to nothing at intermission. Playing for the right to host Cleveland next Friday night in round two. Kickoff comes down to the nine-yard line. Brought back a good run back. With the run back, number 23, Andre Johnson. And he brings it all the way back out to the 33, where Tullahoma will take over first down and 10. First down from the 32 for Tullahoma. This is the fullback, Hale, with the carry. That is Brent Hale. He goes up the middle, and he gets about three or four yards. Jim Adams with the tackle for Lebanon. Ball at the 36, second down and seven. On second down. This is Maurice Shaw. Goes up the middle, gets a couple of three yards. Good defensive play by the Lebanon defensive line. Led by number 43, linebacker Jim Adams. That'll bring up a third down from the 39. Third down and four. Third down and three. That's a big defensive series for the Devils. This is Shaw, and they get it. And it might have been a loose football on the play, too. No fumble on the play. But a good tackle last off the ground for Lebanon is number 30, linebacker Jeff Crutchfield. Larry McCrary and Tim Halbert also there for the Blue Devils, and that'll bring up a fourth and one at the 41. Fourth down, Tullahoma. The Wildcats have gone for it on fourth and one before and made it. The Blue Devils will try to... And now, illegal shift, apparently. As about four Wildcats moved at one, so it'll be against Tullahoma. And now we may see the punt. As Joe Gaddis tried to cross up the Devil defense, but instead he got called for, for the penalty to bring up a fourth and six. And coming in to punt will be number 25, Chris Long. And if I'm not mistaken, this might be Tullahoma's first punt of the night. Back deep for Lebanon is Raymond Shockley and Rick Johnson. They're back at their own 25-yard line. Good snap. Not much pressure by Lebanon. It looks like they want to set up the return. Only Shockley's calling for the fair catch. It hits the ground and rolls all the way back to inside the 35, down to the 34, where the Blue Devils will have it. First and 10, with 9.37 remaining in the third quarter. And with that, we'll take this commercial break and be right back to Lebanon High School. Visit your Wilson Farmers Co-op Car Care Center for a full line of co-op batteries for cars, trucks, and tractors with two, three, four, five, or six-year warranties. You'll find co-op tires for passenger cars, trucks, and tractors. Your co-op car care center does brake work, front-end work, oil change, and grease jobs. You'll find oils and lubricants for everything from compact cars to trucks and tractors. And you'll find Delta and TruckMate toolboxes for your pickup. Your Wilson Farmers Co-op, Bab Drive in Lebanon. Randy's Hair Design believes in first-class care of their customers. Randy specializes in precision haircutting, all styles for men, women, and children, perms, colors, and manicures. Randy's Hair Design works by special appointments as well as walk-ins. And Randy's is the only shop in Wilson County specializing in the sale and use of California Concept Hair Products. Randy's Hair Design, 1030 West Main Street, 444-7712. Taking care of the customer. If you're in business or thinking about starting your own business, here's some great news from Express Press in Lebanon. Now through the end of November, get 1,000 business cards, 1,000 envelopes, and 1,000 letterheads. Only for $70. It's an $85 value. You furnish the camera-ready artwork, and we do the rest. A thousand business cards, a thousand letterheads, and a thousand envelopes. All just for seventy dollars. All for good during the month of November. Express Press, where we do it right. Four four nine zero seven seven zero. Helping make our Lebanon High School football telecast possible is Dr. Wayne Johnson. General Dentistry, four zero one West Main in Lebanon. Call four 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 two zero three four. You're watching TV sixty six Lebanon. 
the channel you can trust, an affiliate of the American Christian Television System. Back to live action. First down and 10 for 11. And to give it to the fullback, Jeff Crutchfield. He's through the line of scrimmage. He has a first down at the 35. A good opening call by the Blue Devils. With the stop for Tullahoma, number 86, Jeff Hollis. So first down, Blue Devils at the 36. First down, Lebanon. Give again, it's the Crutchfield again. He goes up the middle. Good yardage. Close to the 44-yard line. Tackle made by number 55, David Hale. That'll bring up a second down and about four for the Blue Devils. Maybe second and three. A second down and three. C gets his first carry of the half. He tries the left side. He has the first down at the 48. So the Blue Devils taking their first possession of the second half and marching it right down Tullahoma's throat. Antonio London with the tackle, first down Blue Devils at their own 49. First down and 10. Jerry Young is in the slot position to the right. This is Crutchfield, goes up the middle, fights his way for about three yards to the Tullahoma 48-yard line. That'll bring up a second down and seven. From the 48-yard line, second down and seven. Shockley's foot wide to the right. Eckler looking to throw, looking for Shockley, overthrows his intended receiver, Shockley. Back with Shockley. Coverage was number two, Derek Crutchfield. That'll bring up a third down and seven for the Blue Devils. Third down and seven. And Eckler calls for timeout. Apparently, he saw something in the Tullahoma defensive alignment he didn't like, so he will call timeout, and Mark Medley will go out and talk things over. Following the timeout, we're back to live action. Third and seven. Crutch, uh, excuse me, Eckler fakes to Crutchfield, pitches back to Z, cuts back across the middle, and has the first down, or should be a first down, just short of the 40-yard line of Tullahoma. Blue Devils have moved the ball in the second half and has really woke up the crowd on this side of the stadium. As Maurice Shaw had just about lulled them to sleep during the first half. First down and 10. Raymond Shockley split out wide to the right. Marcus Watkins is in the slot. This is the fullback. Crutchfield goes up the middle and is stopped immediately with the initial hit, number 73, Jeff Bradford. And... They will mark it at the 39, a pickup of one on the play, second down and nine for the Blue Devils. Second down and nine, clock ticking down, inside 6-10 remaining in the third. Eckler keeps and is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Eluded one tackler, but couldn't shake off the next two, leading the charge, number 69, Robert Weaver. And Bob lost back to the 40. That'll bring up a third down and 11. Third down and 11. Raymond Shockley split out wide to the right. Eckler drops back in trouble. Throwing deep down the middle for Rollins. Incomplete. Flags are thrown. Looks like pass interference. Back deep with Rollins. Trying to get a number. Looks like number three was back deep with Rollins. That is Bill Marshall. And it looks like it'll be pass interference and an automatic first down for the Blue Devils. The pass interference, a 15-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage, not from the point of the foul. But it is an automatic first down, and it's first and 10 Blue Devils at the 25. 520 remaining in the third quarter. Lebanon trying to get on the scoreboard for the first time tonight. Tony Eckler calling the signals. He gives to C. Picks up about three on the play. Stop made by number 73, Jeff Bradford. Flag on the play, holding against Lebanon. 
Oklahoma will have the option of taking the play and having it second and seven or taking the penalty and have it first and 20. And it looks like they're going to take the foul, so it will be first down. It will be first and 15, though. Back to the 32. First down, well, judging by the yard markers, it looks more like first down in 16, but nonetheless, it is a first down from the 32. So we approach the five minute mark of the third quarter. Eckler drops back. Now he's gonna keep, he goes forward, has some room, slips some tackles. It is down inside the 25 yard line, down to about the 23. With the tackle, number five, Greg Hollis. So. Eckler got it back to the original line of scrimmage and then more. That's about where C had the ball in that first first down carry. So it'll bring up a second down and eight for the Blue Devils. Second and eight. Eckler drops back. Looking for Shockley in the corner. Touchdown! Tony Eckler passes 23 yards to Raymond Shockley. Back to live action. Rick Johnson will hold for Tony Eckler. The kick is up, and it's no good. So each team has now missed an extra point. And with that, with 4.13 remaining in the third quarter,